new school year, parents can get excited, overwhelmed about preparing their kids for all these changes from getting new clothes and supplies to motivating them about finishing their homework. There's a lot of ground to cover. Joining us now is Bill Corbett, an Enfield author of Love Limits Lessons, a parent's guide to raising cooperative kids. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about this book. And by the way, I have to point out, you have the book not only in English, but the book is also available in Spanish, which I love muy bien. Mm -hmm. I love it. So let's talk a little bit about the four steps to getting your homework done for kids. The, before we talk about the four, the four steps, what's important to understand is the key to getting kids to take accountability and get motivated to do their homework yeah. is to give them ownership of it. Okay. It's, the homework belongs to the child, not the parent. Mm -hmm. But if the parent owns it too much, the child feels like they don't have any say in, in getting it done. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. What else would really help get them to get it done? Before school begins, you sit down with the child and you uh, let them come up with a list of the supplies that they think they need to get their homework done. Mm -hmm. You take them shopping, you go to Staples or whatever store there you're going to buy them, give them the list, let them hold the carriage and the money and, and, and go with them mm -hmm. so that they own the process of buying their supplies. And then you bring them home and let them determine how to set up the desk with your help and coaching. I'm not saying the child owns the whole process. Exactly. The parent is a coach. You guide them. You don't control them. I I like that because if they feel as if they're taking ownership, it's their baby, it's their project, they are going to make sure that it gets done. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about a challenge for kids. Why is it such a challenge for kids these days? I don't remember having a problem with my homework. It was just you're going to get it done and that's it. But I always had one parent there. When one was working, one was always there. Is that perhaps an issue? Yeah, there's a couple issues. One is that parents are not there. Parents are either working, sometimes multiple jobs, uh -huh. or they're just so busy. The world is moving much faster than it was when we were kids. Yeah. We can feel it, and the kids can feel it. And when the environment around you is moving faster, the anxiety kind of builds up. So we've got to get kids to calm down, relax, and let them know that we have faith in them, and they'll take ownership for their homework. Now, we're looking at these four bullet points. The last Last one, help develop consequences, and that's important because if they know that something bad's going to happen or they're not going to get the certain thing that they want, they'll make sure they get it done. They get that homework done. Right. Well, the, the point is, you really want to make sure that they um, come up with the schedule as to when they're going to get the homework done. Let them do it mm -hmm. with your guidance, and then let them come up with what will the consequences be if they don't come up to, with the time or do the homework and sit down and do it. Let them help in coming up. You'll be amazed what they'll say. Yeah. How did you get all the information for this book? Did you, is it personal? You know, I have three kids. Okay, I figured a lot of it. Three kids and two grandkids. So. Oh, so you know a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> and let's talk about your mentioning that this book got quite the accolade. Yeah, I just won the Parent Tested, Parent Approved Award from PTPA.org, and it was tested by a panel of parents that it was um, um, supported for parents and the family. When fellow parents are saying this is worth buying, then you know that you've done good, Absolutely. so to speak. Yes. Anything else that you've uh, touched on? What other topics do you talk about in this book? Well, I do a lot about um, power struggles. It's the most frustrating thing that we run into with our kids. Mm -hmm. We want them to do what we want them to do because life's moving so fast. Mm -hmm. There's a way and there's things you can do very easy to get them to be cooperative with you because that's what we want. We want more cooperation from our kids so we can do what we need to do. How about this? Some parents, my parents weren't very democratic. It was you're going to be doing this. But now I feel as if, and I'm not judging because I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with my little one when he gets here. But I feel like a lot of parents always say, do you want this or do you want this? And they kind of get the child to make decisions, but I don't know if they're the age to be making those decisions. Shouldn't you just say, we're doing this? Or no, you think you should give them the option of making these choices. What's better? The, what the, works? the secret is you offer two choices. You can have this or this. Okay. And if you don't pick, then I get to pick for you. That's a good, so you don't make it open-ended. You no. don't just say, okay, what do you want to do? No. You give them A or B. Right. I and if they don't like pick, that. then you, then they're turning it over to you. Then you're C. Exactly. <laughs> I exactly. love that. This is great. And again, you're from Enfield. Great book. And again, English and Spanish. That's wonderful. For more help and pointers, you can go to our website, NBCConnecticut.com, and search links mentioned on air. Thank you so much.